Hi, I'm Gabriel and this is Learning English Path. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you seven better ways to ask the question, how are you? Stop asking the question, how are you? <laughs> now, the truth is that people in native English speaking countries do ask this question. I ask, how are you all the time? So don't let people say that it's not a real question just because it's basic. It is a real question. People do use it, but there are other ways of using it. And the other ways just sound like you have a greater power of the English language than uh, a lot of beginners, let's say. It lets people know that you're either an intermediate or advanced level learner if you ask it a different way. Instead of using the same question that everyone is taught on day one of their English learning, right? So let's get to it. Number one, how's it going? How's it going? You would say this informally, uh, casually. You can say it at work and just in a casual way, you know? Number two, what's up? What's up? This is very informal. And if you want to be really informal, you might say, what's up? <laughs> but you probably wouldn't say that to your boss. The next one, how are things? How are things? The next one, what's new? What's new? And specifically here, uh, it, it asks for something that is different in someone's life, right? So you don't answer that question by saying, I'm good, right? You specifically answer with something that is happening in your life. And speaking of that, the next question is what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? So it's what have you been up to? Uh, what have you been doing recently? What's happening? The next one is very, very British. And that is, you all right? <laughs> it's, an, it's a very British way of saying, how are you? You all right? And then the last one, and this is the most formal one on the list. And it's if you know someone, it's only if you have known someone for a while, and usually it's at work, have you been well? Or if you want to be even more formal, have you been keeping well? Have you been keeping well? If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you click that bell so that you know when I publish a new free lesson here on YouTube. And if you want to learn English with songs, then don't forget to click the link in the description to get my free PDF guide to 101 songs to learn English. I have hundreds of exercises for you to study English, English grammar, English vocabulary, English idioms, practice your English listening, and even your speaking while listening to the very best songs to study English with. All right, and when you get it, then you also get my weekly email with five words of the week where I teach you another five words every single week so that you continue to take your English language learning to that next level. All right, my friend, I'm Gabriel Wallace. Keep learning and keep going.